We're Tyler and Todd, and this is our tiny home on wheels. We left the grind of the nine to five behind for life on the road. The last few months have been filled with so many fun adventures. We've got to experience some of the most breathtaking sights we've ever seen, all while managing our business full time from the road. It's been quite the adjustment for our little family, but no matter what, we're in it together. But let's back up a minute. The setbacks we dealt with in last Sunday's video isn't gonna stop us from converting the RV from this to this, all in 30 days. So we're going to Costco um, and the RV store because we need to get keys. Someone broke into our car and took our keys last night. We're going down to buy one of each type of key that they think might work. And then that might- Do that first or Costco first? I want to do Costco first. Samples. I don't want to get there late. Um, <laughs> Fair. Um, so... <laughs> I need to preface this. In Canada, we legalized um, a green little herb that we'll refer to as herb from now on. So, Herb <laughs> was had by. Herb came to visit. Herb came to visit. Uncle Herb is here. He's, he yep. is here for a couple hours, just a quick stay. As upset as I am or was over the RV thing, Todd was really, really upset, so I said, I know what will make you feel better. I'm gonna give you a little bit of- Herb juice. Of herbs, of herbs juice. And that'll spruce you right back up. So Todd no, doesn't get spruced up by Uncle Herb's juice. Riddle me that. <laughs> so update. The emergency exit window, we popped the screen out. I'm on top of the Prius. And I opened the emergency exit so I can get in. See you at the door. All right, so welcome back to the party. Tyler's doing some work at home and I just got the lock all changed out. This type of lock isn't one that has like a standard key. It's like that company has hundreds of keys for the same lock. So the chances of someone having the same key of us are drastically less. So that's the one I went with. Now I'm finally gonna get to cleaning the walls so that we can start priming tomorrow. So my goal today is I'm not leaving until every single surface has been cleaned. He's here everyone, Tyler made it. Oh, you were telling them that I was busy being a hustler? No, I said you're at home with a half-eaten box of pizza across your lap playing Fortnite on the TV. That is not accurate. I was sending emails and doing the administrative things that keep this business afloat. I do admin too. I know you do. So, all right. Gonna get back to it. I just wanna say that I feel that my love is real. What are you up to? I am scrubbing all of these walls with TSP because we're getting ready to prime tomorrow. No, we will be, provided we don't get locked out again. What are you working on, cutie? I am taping off and putting plastic over everything that we don't want to have paint on. It's quite a bit. Yep. How's that going for you? Very slow and painful. You're doing great. P.S. All those walls are washed. Yay. Today we are painting the cabinet doors from the RV. So instead of buying brand new doors, painting your cabinet doors is a very cheap and effective way. Affordable, not cheap. I hate that word. Affordable way of um, renovating a space and making it beautiful again. So what we are gonna do is treat all of them with this special chemical called TSP. What that does is it strips off all the grease, all the oil, and gets it ready for painting. So it's a huge misconception that you have to sand down doors prior to painting, not if you use the right primer and the right paint. Then you go through and you remove all of the hardware, which is happening right now. Done. Done, boom. Then you create this little stand lay them all out, go to town on them. I got the TSP solution, yep. 
and I mixed it with water the way you're supposed to. And now I'm just spraying all of the cabinets. I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes and then I'm gonna go in with that brush right there and just scrub off all the polish. Nice, it's looking good. Thanks. These are the little like window wells, I guess you would call them for the fantastic fans that are in it. Um, they've turned yellowy, so we're actually just spray painting them back to a nice white. We just did the front of the doors with the solution, the TSP, and then now we're going over again with just some hot water and vinegar, just to make sure that all of the grease and grime is off. So the, um, what's it called? The paint will adhere to the surface. Not the paint, the um, primer will primer. adhere to the surface. Adhere to the surface. Quite indeed, yes, yeah. it shall. It shan't peel. And our friend Danielle is behind the camera filming. Hey, girl. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I am back at the RV, and as you can see, everything is prepared for paint. So we've got everything taped, cleaned up, all the walls are prepped. Basically, everything's done so we can prime. We're used to demoing a house where you can just like really get rid of everything. A lot of the stuff has to stay. I'm gonna put on my suit, get my spray gun loaded, and we're gonna get ready to go. So I've decompressed a little bit from my little slip up. I seriously messed my knee up, but we have some key takeaways. If you're gonna go on a catwalk in an oversized plastic paint suit, at least make sure that there's no debris in the way. I completely sliced my suit open. I guess I'm gonna get painting now. Bye. We just finished priming for the day. What do you think? It looks way brighter and bigger already, but I'm really excited to get the paint on the walls. Yeah, it'll be really good with that. But yeah, it's like so much bigger, it feels. Like two cartwheels wide. Show them your hair. It's paint hair, don't care. <laughs> it's cute. And I cut your nose by mistake, sorry. Yeah, he dropped the railing yesterday on my nose. You should turn that sub finder around to you. Beep, beep, beep. So we just left the RV. Thanks for all of the messages about my knee, but I'm doing just fine now. What are we doing now? Now we are headed home to prime the cabinet doors because we gotta get them painted and installed. Now we're working on priming the doors, but we have to do like one side, let them dry, and then flip them and then do the other side, which is kind of a nuisance, but then we're going back tomorrow to paint. You got what I need effortlessly. What are your thoughts on these doors? I don't like them. We have to put the brush in every single groove. It was so much work. But luckily, we get to do it all again when we do the other side, and then we get to do it two more times when we paint them, so that's exciting. Something to look forward to. Exactly. Hey. Hey. Welcome back to painting day two. <laughs> Wanna give an update on what we've accomplished? Well, Tyler managed to just get here, so congrats, hun. Right now, I'm painting the speakers from the ceiling because they're from 1996 and I can't find this size anymore. So I primed them and I'm painting them with the ceiling paint so that they blend in a bit more instead of that yellowy color that they turned to. That's a good idea. My goal is to do the lower section there, so I'm gonna get started on that. What do you think of the colors, hon? I really, really like it. Yeah? I think it's gonna go really nice if we do the butcher block counter. Which we're going to. And then there's our warm white. Oh, that's just so beautiful. So we've put our heads down and we've just kind of grinded out all the painting that we needed to. Todd did a coat of paint on the ceiling, so if you notice, 
we did like a little bit of an off-white and then we did true white on the ceiling just to give it that more of a residential feel which I think is really really nice for now I'm gonna head home and get started on um, painting the uh, doors for the cabinets so we first Pardon? What's first? Oh, I've been sent home to make us food because we're both ravenous. So I'm gonna make us vegetarian buffalo chicken wraps. Right? Yeah, that's what I want. I don't care what you eat. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have. You can make two meals if you want, but just make sure I get a buffalo wrap. Welcome back. Um, we did skip a little bit, so if you think that the video jumped, it actually didn't. We're onto um, the floor, but we did the slide because Tyler wasn't sure how it was gonna go, and we didn't want you guys to be exposed to that kind of language, so. It was a little bit more frustrating than I think we thought it would be. It looks so good. We're actually quite happy. This wasn't the floor that we originally um, bought, but when the floor nosing arrived, it turned out kind of greenish looking, so we ended up going with a different color. If you're wondering what's on with my nose, right there. Um, last, a couple days ago, we had to install a handrail at one of our rentals, and Tyler was helping me, but he let the wood slide, and it came right down on my nose, so that's that. Husband of the year right there. Look at him. He likes to get hit in the face with wood. Dirty. So we've ran the floor to this point, but I thought I would take this opportunity to show you guys how to do a little bit more of a complicated cut. When it's just straight, you basically are just snipping off the ends, but this is at an angle. So if you take a look right here, you have to cut the board like I did here. Not only that, this is one piece of board, so in order to get that in there, you also need to make sure that the width is enough, because see right here, this goes in. So you've got your 45 degree angle, then you just take this and you put it on the end of your board. So you put it right here and then make sure it's straight. And then you would just draw a line. Then you would cut that in order to give you this. So imagine this piece is still here. All you do, you'd mark right there. And then you take a measuring tape and you just measure the distance of this point here. So you measure how deep this is and you take that depth away from here. And then that's how you, instead of trying to run it a bunch of boards and making it lo not look even, you wanna use one board so it looks like it's a professional finished product. Wow, it's like magic. Yeah, I don't know if that kind of stuff is interesting to you guys or not, but um, you save a lot of money by doing it yourself. So I highly recommend. What? Nothing. Why are you looking at me like that? Not looking at you like anything. Do you have anything to add or contribute? It looks really good. You happy? Yeah. So the living room flooring has been laid. Big check mark by that one. Looks so good. So the next thing we're gonna start working on for this um, framing in this slide out. How in love with it are you? I'm very in love. I can't wait for it all to be done. It looks so good. How's it going in here? Good. I'm just trying to clean all the dirt off the windows. Successfully? Yeah, it's not going too bad. What's going on now? I am cleaning the screen from all the RV windows. It's a good way to do it. Yeah. Hi. Hi, baby. All right, so we're back. It's a new day. We're down to four days until we go. Sorry we didn't update you last night when we left, but um, yeah, oh, she's dark. There we go, we're adjusted. Yeah, we didn't update you last night because we were here until just before nine, so we wanted to just get out of here. But this is where we're at so far. Hey. There's Tyler, and we've got the barn board up. We've got trim done here. Tyler's just finishing this trim. Our tile did arrive today. We're so in love with it. It's a peel and stick tile. Um, it's a backsplash for the kitchen. But like, look at that. Which is crazy, like, it's so nice. Yeah. We, um, we got it from Amazon. So we'll put the link yeah. down below in case you wanna, you wanna copycat us and do this in your RV kitchen. Or even in your house. I would, I would literally do that in an apartment. Yeah, it's really nice. So 
that's not a priority for today. Today's priority is getting all the floor and trim done because for that we need the generator and we're paying to rent the generator so it would be nice to get rid of it so we don't have to keep paying for it. Yeah. Um, plus the tile can be done anywhere, it's not crucial. So how's it going? It's going. Can't wait to be done. It's so hot in here. Yeah. But we've got the flooring in the bedroom going. He's out cutting that. I got this measured and cut, which is good relief. And I also measured for and cut for in right here. And right here. Nice. We're down to two days until we leave, so it's all hands on deck right now. A little stressful, we still need to sort through all of our clothes and stuff inside of our house and determine what we're bringing with us. Um, but I think that we got that. Got this. Got this. So right now, I'm working on putting this table together. Um, last night, Tyler thought the legs went one way, I thought they went another way. Um, it ended up with both of us deciding that it was best we end the project for the day and go home. So that's what we did. So right now, I'm trying to put the table together with the way that I think the legs go um, before Tyler gets here and tells me that they go another way. And then worst case scenario, if he happens to be right, I can switch them out before he gets here and then be like, no, you were saying they should have went the other way. And then really I'll look like I was right the whole time. And he'll never know the difference until he sees this footage. The legs do go pointy side out like I was saying, like the picture showed. So I was right. It's okay, Tyler. Don't be mad at yourself. We all have our strong suits and unfortunately being right is not yours. So hang in there. You'll find what you're good at someday, but being right is what I'm really, really good at. Hey you guys, we are at the RV right now. We're pretty much done with renovations. What are we doing? We're unpacking. I already did a bit of vlogging. Oh, did you? Like, yeah, just a little bit. They were with me when I put the table together. We did it together. It was a group activity. Group activity? Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can see there's obviously a lot less mess now that we've been here and chugging along with it. It's still pretty messy. Yeah, but like we said, like we don't, we've never lived tiny, we've never camped, um, so we don't know what we do and don't need, so it's gonna be a fun exercise, but the first couple stops is gonna be working Let's through. Turn that face a little bit this way. The first <laughs> couple kidding, stops I'm is gonna I'm be, <laughs> well, you're, you did this to me. You did this. Did I do these too? Yes, with stress. So we are gonna get back to organizing. All right, today is the day. When I said yesterday was a busy day and like all hands on deck, I was like kind of joking, but not really. But today it's like all hands on deck. So I'm here just finishing up, putting things away um, so that we can get traveling, making sure that we've got everything organized, um, getting rid of stuff that we don't need, making sure that we have the stuff that we do need. Tyler's um, at home dealing with our clothes because right now we don't have any clothes over here. I've got this shirt and another one, um, but I don't feel like being a nudist on the road. So it's crazy, I was thinking about it. If you think back, only one week ago, we were putting our first coat of paint on the walls. And now look at it, all the floor is in, the trim is in, um, the furniture is here, and we're ready to go. When I think back to our regular renovations, like on a house, it's interesting. I find that the demo and the prep go so fast, but the finishing work and the detail is what takes forever. But I kind of find the opposite of this, the demo and the prep took forever for us to get through on this one, but the finishing went very quickly. Mind you, we still have work to do when we're on the road. We've still got backsplashes and some tile and a little bit of trim. Um, obviously our light fixtures, as you can see from this one hanging behind me, need to be replaced still, but that's all stuff we're gonna pick away at, which is kind of fun, do an hour or two a day, and I bet you in a week or so, we'll have it all done. I'm gonna head home, get things ready so that we can actually leave tomorrow. I'm hoping that we can be gone by this time tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be in Banff. Maybe not. That might be a little optimistic. Um, but yeah. All right. See you. Stop.